First, to honor the John Scott Jarrows. Number six, Justin Bowen. Number four, Noah Pyer. Number 16, Robbie Yao. Number 11, Griffin Oswald. Number 8, Robert Blewett. And now, Leo Dawson. First of all, our managers, Jenny Quigley. Some dumb freshmen in his way, or just dropping goldfish down the bleachers. 
Çok teşekkür ederim. Çok teşekkür ederim. Çok teşekkür And finally, number two, Jake Quinn Doucette. And could we have one final round of applause for all of our seniors in the crowd? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goffstown High School and tonight's NHIAA volleyball game between the visiting John Stark Generals and the Goffstown Grizzlies. On senior night, <laughs> and we have our our first substitution here. First for, and uh, second, and right away. <laughs> yeah. So we've got, Goffstown has four seniors uh, on the varsity roster. Uh, Jake Britton Doucette, Jack Belmore, Garrett Gifford, and Alex Kelly. And we have uh, two of those seniors out tonight with injuries. Not able to play at senior night. They got to come out on the court with their teammates and then got substituted out right away. Yeah, they had the uh, the uh, introduction, so they, they were announced as the as the starters, which is not you know that's a nice thing. To it do. is, it is. Yeah, so we got a big crowd here tonight to see them too. Actually, yeah, it's a very large student section, and all the college kids are home too. So yeah, all, the, all the former former players that are now off in school are, are here to to cheer Goffstown on. Yep, nice to see a lot of those players back. Well, John Stark comes in here with a five and nine record, having just beat Salhegan earlier this week. Uh, and Goffstown is sitting at a nine and five record with six straight wins. So there's some there's some serious playoff implications here for Goffstown to to pull out a victory for tonight. They're sitting in fifth place right now in the standings. Um, if they can finish in the seated in the top four. That's a first round playoff bye. How many how many teams are there, Matt? Well there's thirteen teams in, in the division and what they do is have a have a twelve team playoff. Um, the first four, top four seeds get a bye, and then that's like an eight round, so five will play twelve. Uh, six will play 11 and do that preliminary turn tournament. Okay. Uh, then the winners get set up as uh, playing the one through four seeds. But the third and fourth place teams are sitting, Hollis Brookline and Bishop Girton are sitting there both with 10 wins, 10 and four. 
they're playing each other tonight. Really, so that's going to be a one of them is going to have a going to have a stay at ten wins. One of them is going to move to eleven. We're going to if we can pull this out against John Stark, we're going to move to ten wins. And then we have to win next week against Salem. But then what we really want to happen is uh, BG Hollis Brookline needs to beat Bishop Girton tonight, and then Salem needs to beat Bishop Girton on Friday. That way. BG finishes with 10 wins. We would finish with 11 wins. We would be the four seed. If we wound up tied with with 10 wins against them, um, or or tied with 11 wins against them, they did beat us the first game of the season. So that had mm -hmm. to head. So we'd wind up the fifth seed, um, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, no. it's still a, it's still hosting a playoff game, and it's it's probably the highest seed that Goffstown's ever finished. <laughs> All right, now we can get back to the. We can get back to the game, and Goffstown's got a 3-2 lead here early. Pat Mannion serving. That overpass and kill from Belmore. Yeah. Well, not attack point, because it touched it twice. Stolen, stolen kill, but still a point. Still a point. Oh, that's big beautiful. hit off the block. He's making some nice transitions way, way out, way, way outside the court, coming in and just really swinging well the past couple of games. All of a sudden, it's 6-2 here, Goffstown lead. Serving error will take that point as well. And an early, yep, early timeout for John Stark. They're down by five right now. And that's something you mentioned in one of the other games. It seems like somewhere around five to seven points down is when coaches tend to call a timeout. Yeah, because really, you know, they can, they can every with the rally scoring, there's a point on every serve. Right. So even though, you know, Goffstown's serving, John Stark could take this side out and earn that point in 7-3. Right. You know, it's it, it cut it to four. You do it one point at a time instead of maybe letting this, the what they'd been doing with some passing errors, now it's eight to two. You right. Know, six point lead is very, very different than a four point lead. Right. It is still early, but. Oh, yep. a little bit bad timing there from Belmore. It's a nice try. Yeah, he had to, he had the left hand tip that, and um, it was just a little, little closer than that, and that wasn't as high probably as Rapazzo wanted to put it out. But so just what we said, seven three yeah. versus uh, you know eight to two. Good big Beautiful. swing from Belmore yeah, or um, yeah. Britton Dusat. Pd. Yep. So players will rotate, and uh, Nick Martin will come out from the defensive specialist role, and freshman for freshman, Isaac Borges will come in. <laughs> yeah, give it back to him on the outside. Good hit off the block. Good oh, dig from nice, dig. nice, nice defense from John Stark there. Yep, hit into that block and right down. That's all right. They knew it. He knew. He, he, you could see him shaking his head. He knew right. he needed to get a little. Needs to be a little closer to that net. Get his arms over it. So yep. it, when he when they hit into the block, it goes right down on the opponent's side. Good decision by Belmar to swing at that. Nice dig from Rapazzo. Here we go, nice pass, here we go, nice opportunity. Oh, yep, just hit, hit a little bit longer. 
Had a good rally going there for a few minutes. That's right. There, yeah, there's some good. There's a nice defensive dig there from from both teams. Yeah. Uh, one from Stark in the back, and then the free ball over. But and then Rapazzo dove for one. Set to the middle. Beautiful. Put right down. That was Belmore hitting from the middle. Normally he hits from that outside, but just right. where they have to line up for serve rotation to keep their rotation on the court when the when the play starts. It just makes sense for him to take that first, that initial serve receive, and then hit from the middle. And we'll see that too. He might he might get one from the right side as well in this game. Serve long from Collimore. Oh, he oh, slipped. Oh. Yep. <laughs> a little hesitation there. Didn't quite get to it. Now we're at 10 6. Jack Belmore serving. Nice, nice serve to a spot there. See, it results in a free ball opportunity here. Oh, no. Oh, too close to the net. Couldn't quite get it back over. So this is our last home game of the regular season. It is. Uh, Goffstown has one more road game on Monday in Salem. And then but into the playoffs. We will have a. We should. I mean, there's good. Yeah, we're we are we are actually we're guaranteed a home playoff game. Whether it's the prelims or the quarterfinals, we will definitely have a home playoff game. All right. Nicholas Martin coming in. Nice serve. Oh, oh that's going to oh, go Rick, out. That is long. See how important that first pass is. I mean, that, you yeah, know, they just had to react and try to try to get that ball, and it just resulted in having to force it into a free ball. It went long. Nice back set. See, he, yeah, that, that, so <laughs> that's a front row player there. It, that was a good decision by it BD. Was, how it he, was. he just tipped that ball right to that outside hitter. Yeah. Who's, who's, you know, not, not a defensive specialist, but he made him react to it. Yeah. Now he's doing that first pass. It's harder for him to now transition out and be an attack player, right. even if he makes a perfect pass to the setter. That was a, that was a really, that was a smart play by BD to, to tip it to the, to the guy who's just coming down off a block. Yep. That's some nice serves by Nicholas Martin. Did that slide, Whoa. BD did that slide to the right side. That ball's still alive off the ceiling. Yeah. Nice short set to BD. Oh, beautiful. Good dig from Rapazzo. Another, Another dig from Rapazzo. <laughs> A dig from Colomore. We got this ball still alive. Free ball. Nice, that nice. Way to attack that, not send it over. Oh, they're oh, going to call him. Call? They're going to call him for hit. a double hit. That's a lousy way to end a nice rally <laughs> was, like that. That was a great I mean, that was, there was some good play. Yeah, that was both a nice sides. rally. Both that was sides. a good one yep. from both sides. So 14 to eight, Goffstown lead in the first. Best of five, played the 25, must win by two. Dos. Duh. Nice dig from Martin, nice play off the net. And attack. Oh. I think they're, the refs, refs they're gonna are, they don't, that. they're gonna redo it, yep. I, I, I. Neither one saw it, neither one could make a call <laughs> in or out. So I have an opinion on that one, but I'm not going to voice it. <laughs> but that was a really nice it dig was, by Martin. It was. Patient play by Rapazzo to, to, to play it off the net. And then I think it was BD that actually swung at it. That was a good decision to swing. Oh, uh, not quite over. So the generals take that point. 
What a huge difference between now and the beginning of the season. Isn't it? How it's they're spectacular. Playing. Yeah, yeah it they're, is. they're really have come together as a team. Well, and six straight and wins coming into this. Yeah, absolutely. Good and back row attack. Even with the players that uh, haven't seen quite as much court time having them out there, they've really been able to get it together and play as part of the team very fluidly. You're right, and you've got players that have, and, and even from the beginning of the season too, part of it was a lot of players were in new positions. Right. Um, Alex had made the transition from right side to outside. Yep. Um, Collimore made the, the transition from middle to right side. BD from setter to middle. Uh, Rapazzo picking up the setter duties. I and know, then, at least for Alex, he had a, initially, I think probably for all of them, but it was it was a tough transition just getting used to those the new, new positions and new ways of approaching the game. Good, good, good choice. See, they were talking. <laughs> yep. Belmore was watching it. Martin was right there to make the play. Right. Good communication. See, and, and again, that stuff didn't happen in the first part of the season. It now didn't. They, they really are playing well as a team. They are. Adjusted to their new positions. Oh, they couldn't get to that one in time. Three people. Otter sliding across the floor. They have to scrape the knee skin off the floor later. Oh, they all got their leggings on, so. <laughs> the stomach skin, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they wear them leggings. About 100 know, degrees in here. It's hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> Out of system ball, but a good set. Good hit, good set, good swing. Oh. All right, 16-12, but that was that out of system ball. That's that job of Colomore in that in that opposite position to take that second ball. Nice pass, set to the middle. Great Beautiful hit kill. From BD. Yep, big swing. Mannion to serve. I'm curious what Mannion's serving record is, because he seems to be very, very consistent with his serves. Well, and in that, in you know, before they had to transition around a little bit uh, for injuries. Um, before Pat Mannion moved to the outside, uh, he was that defensive specialist role for the opposite. So he would come in to serve, and, and then Colomar wasn't serving at all. Right. And in the last game, he had a fantastic s couple of serving runs. He did. Have Isaac Board just coming in for Nick Martin now. Putting the wall of Borges in the front row. So he was trying that top spin, <laughs> that jump spin. It had a lot of show. Didn't quite make it over. It's all right. It was good to watch. I do know that the coach has been good. You trying, tried to, it? trying to get them to, to try those new things and not, not sweat it too much if they don't make it. That was a nice block from. Yeah, it was. It was a generals. solo block, too. It was. All right. Closing the gap here. There we yeah. go. Man, that ball's moving fast. It is. Yep. Timeout. John Stark, that's his second. 
Coaches many, do get two they do, per game. Two, yeah. okay. See, I anticipated, you anticipated your question. question. <laughs> You're getting used to the, the, the scope and breadth of my ignorance of this game, <laughs> which is no, less wide and dangerous it, than it was several games ago. No, but it's a um, it, it it's it does have a, some it, it it's very different from you know when like the parents of these kids you know play either played or did it in gym class or something like that or even watched it you know in the Olympics right. or something of that yeah. nature. Um, it is such a position driven game now. Yep. You know, you got those outside hitters that are drop back for serve receive. They're they're generally good passers, but they're also generally your best hitter as well, and they will play around. Uh, you've got the middles that that need to be can need to be able to attack the ball, but then also are there primarily for blocking. You've got to have your your right side or your opposite that has to block the opposition's outside hitter, who's usually their best hitter. Yep. And then also be there for the second out of system ball uh, and put up a set. You've got a def you know the defensive specialist role that are generally the really good passers. And then of course the setter. And I need to update the score here. All right, 2017. 2017. We've hit that 20 threshold. Good cover. He made the, but see, you got to do that. That's right. that's so much better to take a swing at it and send it deep than it is to just free ball it over and let him make an easy pass and a set. Right. And that's coaching right there. She's definitely, Coach Marge is definitely an aggressive coach. She is. I actually had a long talk with her after the last game. Okay. Just it, it was. It, she has a, a really great attitude about how she wants to see the boys play. Uh, smart. She wants them to try new things, and she's very big on having them support each other, uh, so people aren't coming down on each other when they make mistakes. It, it's a very supportive team. Absolutely, yeah. And that's important. And I think I think it shows when you when you see the players out there when somebody makes a mistake. Nobody's nobody's upset about it. They're getting him back in and getting him thinking about the next point. Nice dig from Mannion. Wow, that's some nice, nice that play beautiful. there to get that ball over. Hit long or wide. Should be 23-18. Wide and far, 23-18. But I mean, one of the really key things for these players, Belmore's just winding up on these serves. Yeah. Last couple have been really, really, really intense serves. 23-19. One, the thing about this game is though, everyone is gonna make a bad pass. Everyone's gonna get hit into the net. Everyone's gonna get blocked. Absolutely. And, and you just have to, there's so many points in the game, you just have to forget it and move to the next one. Be ready for that next play. Yep. There you go. Oh, that was a nice block. They, yep, they covered Gorgeous. it so well. Oh, they could not get to that. Three more on the floor from There we go, 24-19, so game, game point, point here for the first. And Nicholas Martin coming in to serve. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that was it. That's it. That was nice. Goffstown takes the first, 25-19. Teams will switch sides. We will be back momentarily for game two. All right, we're back for game two here between the visiting John Stark Generals and the Goffstown Grizzlies. Last home game, senior night for Goffstown. They took the first game, 25-19. This is Matt Kennerson with Marty Kelly. And the crowd is very excited to get this game started. Goffson will have the first serve here with Noah Rapazzo, and we got the Let's Go Noah chance going, going on. <laughs> I'm noticing that even the John Stark Generals are clapping along with this. <laughs> that is spectacular sportsmanship.
So oh, they made that I free was, ball over, yeah. So that went off his hands and his face. So, so that, that does not count as, you were saying before about the, the one fluid motion sort of thing? Yep, it was one on, a, on an attack, and a serve is considered an attack. Okay. Um, a, a double hit off of two parts of the So that would the first one would have technically been a block, or no? No, it just, because it, it, he, he, he hit it, and then it hit off his body, but it was one motion that he was doing. Okay. That ball's still alive. It is. There's that second out of system ball and a kill. So it's it, it just um, it the, that that is a rule change with the, if he's going with one motion to make a play on the ball and it happens to hit his body twice, they will on an attack they will allow that to happen. But if he hits it once and goes up in the air and then he takes a step or two and hits it again, that's a double. That would be a double. Yeah. Okay. Two to one with the general serving now. Nice passing. And calling yeah. our setter for a carry. We need sound effects like wah, wah, <laughs> wah. I can do that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. Get it over. Oh. So now he, he bumped that deep. Oh. Not going to clear, hit the ceiling. Mannion serving, three to two. Big for Mannion, didn't quite make it there in time. Yeah, that was a hard hit ball, and, and Belmar got a got one of his arms on it, but it just it went up went up hard and bounced off the ceiling. Set to the outside. There we go. So one of the one of the things is uh, you know I'd say to the setters, as the father of an outside hitter, you go to the setter before the game. It's a beautiful day outside, <laughs> and, and in this gym right now, it's a beautiful day outside <laughs> as Belmore is putting the ball down. Nice block. Yep. Excellent. Collimore and Borges got together on that block. Uh, good defense from Stark to to get the ball over, but then Belmar put it right back down again. Another try for that jump serve. Didn't quite work out this time. You gotta give the guy points for style though. We need sound effects for those. Add that to the list. Just quick set oh, there. Excellent. Good dig, good dig by the libero. And we're tied at five. Still early, but this game seems to be a little bit tighter point for point. They're, they're not, there's no, it's been no big gaps. I suppose it's hard to get big gaps when you're only five points in, but. This might be Stark's first lead of the evening. passing so that was a a, a, a a slide how the um belmore usually from the outside there swung around behind the setter and it's a, just to fake the block out and it worked it's a yeah that can be very very effective serve receive error on start take us up to a goffstown 7-6 lead
back tied at seven. This is the, that's the rally scoring, you know. Yeah. It goes back and forth, can go back and forth very easily. And this, this is where you can get a lot of rotations in, too, uh, when you're going back point for point. Back row attack from Stark. Good pass. Here we go. Oh, no, let's send it over. Nice rally going here. That's going to be hard to get that over. Oh, it was That's, a nice yeah. try. That was, that was deep out there. Up by two now. Yeah. And if Stark takes the next point, it might be a good good point for a timeout, good spot for a timeout. Good swing. Stark got a got a touch on that block. There you go. Nice there block. we go. Rupazzo nice block. And Borges. Rupa yep, Rupazo and Borges together on that. I've mentioned it before, but they are a formidable blocking team out there. When they're next to each other, they tend to stop a lot of them. That Jack enjoying the poster of himself up there. That throw down from the middle. You don't see that too much in the in the boys game. Um, you know, old old school volleyball, that was always a carry. You know, it almost looks like he just like a almost like carry in basketball. He just puts his hand on it and just throws it to yeah. a spot. Um, but that that is an evolution of the game, and it is now a, a, a valid play. Um, the, the middle, the girls' game, the middles tend to do that a little bit more. Why is that? Do I don't know. know just, just, just the way it instead of swinging, yeah, yeah, just the way it works. I think with the the with the boys, they tend to swing more. Um, whereas the for the girls, it's more of a, um, a a technique to go to that open spot. That was a nice dig from the general's libero. Opportunity for Goffstown to the middle. No. Oh, long. It looked good. We got a 12-8 lead here, so here's a timeout from Coach Marchison. She's a little late on this timeout, according to you. She's going to have to consult with you a little better, well, a little no, more closely. I, I, back, <laughs> back when, I thought it was going to be like go to the three-point lead or, or back to 10-8. To you know, that might have been a good spot for yep. it. But that's why I'm up here and not down coaching. <laughs> You, you can discuss those, it with her when you interview her after the game today. You know, like the, the bad lip reading? <laughs> we had to do that for a timeout. Okay, we'll check that. See ya. <laughs> you, can, you can imitate Mel. Okay. <laughs> Set to the middle. There we go. See, whatever she said worked. We'll take that point. Nick Martin coming in for Isaac Borges. Opportunity here for Goffstown to the middle. Another opportunity for Goffstown off a free ball. Good set, back set. Good dig by the Stark libero. Yeah. Man, Stark should. Oh! Uh, is he going to look at his hands? <laughs> nope. <laughs> he knows it. Mm -hmm. 
pass that ball. 13-9, Stark lead in the second. And just like that, 13-10. Serve, serve, serve error makes it one point closer. They're switching balls. Oh, because I think because coach kicked it. Oh, really? Foot cooties or something? I don't know. <laughs> they, got, they got some weird <laughs> stuff. Excellent block. That was a nice serve receive. It was. Yeah. Oh, it I'm landed that in. One to Goffstown. It landed in. 13 that 12. Was, that was a close one. Now just down by one. Yep. Rapazzo had to take that first ball, but a good, good set from Calamar. And a Ooh, deep. That was nice. Tied at 13. Send it deep. Make them backpedal. It looked like they assumed that one was going out. All right, well, let's see where Noah puts this one. Down, down at the one. Um, coach has given him a spot to serve to. Good play off the net by Stark. It was. Good Excellent dig from Rapazzo. Yep. yep. Sorry, Marty. Hey, that's all right. We can do it in harmony. And a kill oh. from BD. Excellent. Goffstown's up by one now, 14-13. Let's see if I can steal the signal. I'm guessing that was not what the signal was. That was not. It, it might would have be a bold strategy. <laughs> we'll see how that didn't work out <laughs> didn't for him. Didn't work out. <laughs> that was a really nice set. That was, that was a great. Back row attack from Belmore. Oh, Is there a little. touch? Yep, there we was. got the touch I call. Did, I did not see the touch. That was excellent. Mannion serving. Goffstown still up by one, 15 14. Colomore and BD together on that block. The cross. And it works. <laughs> that, that seems to be getting more and more fluid as they practice. I think they they're calling it move. an X instead of a cross, an but X. Same, same thing. Nice serve, nice serve. Yep. A little long. We'll call that one out. 16-15 in the second. Goffstown took the first 25-19. Best of five. So it's not really that full swing again. That was that throw down, but it tied the game up. It did. That, oh, that was going to be long. There's a nice pass. Hard off the block. Give it back to him. Short to the middle. Oh. Yep, timing was just a little bit off on that. 
18-16. Oh. oh this is be the I, thought, I thought it was out. But I thought it was out, too. The, the, you see the, the down ref shrugged his shoulders. He wasn't watching. Or, well, and that's, he's got to watch the other side of the court on that situation. Nice tip from BD. Players will rotate. He'll get the serve. Let's see if he goes for the super duper ultra <laughs> top spin jump serve. Good net play from Collimore there. To the outside. Big swing from Belmore. Oh, wow, that, that ball's alive. Excellent. Yep. That was excellent. Good dig from Stark. Good defensive play. Nice bump set. Oh. oh. Yeah, that never never went over, but all right, 20 to 17. Good pass. Set to the middle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Close to the net. Close to the net. That should have been probably called a double, but timeout from Coach Margenson, 21-17. Not doing the lip reading. Oh, can't see her. All right, I'll try this. Okay, she's saying, "Okay, Noah, you have a pet guinea pig, right? A real <laughs> nice guinea pig. I'd hate to see anything happen to that. <laughs> Don't let anything hit the floor." So, so you think the coach is threatening to murder their pets? I didn't say murder. <laughs> I never used the word murder. I just said she'd hate to see anything happen to their guinea pigs. Because <laughs> words matter. <laughs> They do, they do. I'm a writer, Matt. I know I this. Under, yeah. <clears throat> it's all about language. If it gets up to 2317, then she will use the word murder. <laughs> and we're back to a <laughs> the nice slide. Almost took out their assistant coach. Good reflexes on that guy. Pat Collimore serving. Oh, does not make it over. Good pass outside. There we go. Excellent. Twenty two nineteen. So we got the we got the rotation here. So Rapazzo's still in the front row. We got Mannion and Borges as his targets. To the middle. Good swing from Borges, but good dig. Oh, good. excellent. Yeah. A little, it was a good dig, but there. Setter couldn't get to it. 22-20. Belmore serving. This one's going to be right down to the wire. Oh, short He's serve. Trying that. Two of them, two short serve attempts here. If made it 22 points and then 23 points. Belmore hitting from the right side in the back row. Good dig. Excellent. Oh. All right, we've got game point for the John Stark Generals. Oh, 
That was a great Not going to get swing. to that one. Great swing from Borges. The libero's getting his arms on these, but not necessarily a, a usable second ball. Right. But that's all he can do is try to try to get it up in the air, and that's why there's six of them out there. Nicholas Martin serving. Oh. I called that out. 24-22. That was close. To the middle. BD tipped it. Excellent. They could All not right. get to that in time. 23-24. Yep. Three straight points, so timeout start. Time start. And who's who's serving, Martin? I think so. So we'll see what he has for pets that coach is threatening right now. <laughs> She's telling them to run up to the net and confuse them by dancing and dabbing. I don't even know how you can see her in the middle of the six footers down, yeah. down there. <laughs> I, I can't, I'm just assuming that's what's happening down there. The six footers or the six tours, depending on uh, how they're listed on the roster. How they listed themselves on the roster. <laughs> <laughs> the self-reporting might not be the most reliable way to go on that. They have apparently dusted all the bad juju off of Nicholas Martin. Got him ready to go, 23-24. All right, so Mannion and BD in the front row with Rapazzo. Good serve. There and we go. We're going. 24, 24. We're we going to overtime. <laughs> Got to win by two. Nice Good block, block from BD. BD. Jack puts it. Oh, out. 25-24, still have not got that two-point lead they need to win right now. Something happening. Now well, the ref signaled to switch sides. He thought the game was oh, over. Oh. He didn't say it was 24-24. <laughs> Get on the, there you go. That was, that's long. Oh, there we go, 25-25. Right. Service error. So what I was saying there is when I, when I looked quickly, Palomar had his back foot off the court. Oh. And, and all players must be on, in the bounds of the court, except for the server, right. at the start of each play. That ball's still alive, it's gotta go, yep, went through. Give it back to him right, to Mannion. That is touch, out. no touch. No touch. All right, no touch and an in call. 26-25, game point for Stark. Nice set to the outside, but Beautiful block. block and they <laughs> yep, Collimore ah, and BD together on that block. 26. Oh man, they got they were they were so together on that. They went they up were. together and they had turned their bodies. That that was and that's why that ball went right back cross court. See, that was because Mel told them to get up there and dazzle them with their dancing. They did it. It worked. All right, here should be an opportunity. Where's he gonna go? To the outside, Belmore puts Whoa, it down. Beautiful from Belmore. Goffstown up by one right now. Game point for them if they make this. And Mannion serving. This will, I mean, you know, this is going to be very demoralizing for Stark here if Goffstown can pull this one out. <laughs> Set to the outside. Good pass from Martin to Belmore. And it's oh. it, 28, 26. They pulled it off. They came back from, what was there, what was there? It was 24, 20. It was 24, 20 at the timeout. And Goffstown came back and won it, 28, that 26. Is amazing. We'll be back for game three with Goffstown with a two nothing lead. All right, we're back for game three between the 
John Stark Generals and the Goffstown Grizzlies. Goffstown took the first two, 25-19, and then 28-26, and a very exciting finish. That was, that was fun. Got a good rally here for the first point. Oh, that's oh, going to be hard. Oh, yep, couldn't oh, couldn't get it nice from there. Try. Tough angle on that. Just one. a bit outside. Just a little bit. So this is a must-win game for Stark to continue the match. Goffstown's oh. got that two-nothing lead. What a pass! Oh, that's a touch. That ball's still that's alive. A, oh, all right. And a block. And a block. So yeah, so so that you know the the player was over and that ball would have come back down on our end, but he touched it, so that constitutes a block. We get three new touches, and they they had the presence to, to keep playing right you know, until and that, not just let it drop. Yeah, keep playing until that whistle stops. I did notice uh, in some of the games, it seems like there are some teams that that will that will drop it when they think it's over, and some teams, just like you said, will. Came down hard off the ceiling. You didn't quite get to that. Some teams will uh, will keep playing, as you suggested, until they hear the whistle. Well, and you always want to take like that, that fourth hit anyway, just in case the ref can't count. <laughs> then you get the wrath of the crowd. Yeah, oh. you do. They because the the crowd generally can count. They can. They can. One of the away games we had recently, there was a uh, a scoring error that did not get resolved until. A bunch of parents started yelling, and they had to stop the game and consult the books and check things. Nice. Well, and I think this should be all right. There goes the two-two. I was looking at the scoreboard versus what I've got in front of me, and and uh, yep, now it's two-two. Now it should be three-two. Little delayed reaction from the scorekeeper. So I'm going to put up three-two. There, there we go. Goes. There we go. It's up there. Overpass. Oh, There's yep. <laughs> so it happens to us too. Yeah. Our our middles our middles love those overpasses. Nicholas and Martin uh, tried to get at that one with his foot. Almost made it. Hit off the block from BD. Yep. Yes. So now we're back to four two on the scoreboard in the stands. So I'm going to match the scoreboard in the, in the gym. Oh, that ball was in, ace. BD. Nobody got near that one. I think he like really tried for that and just missed. 5-2, <laughs> Goffstown lead in the third. Here comes that. There we go. Nice it. hard serve. Yep. Beautiful put over by Belmore. On that overpass. But that was a hard serve. It was. Trying it again. Big. Oh, did wow. not make it. <laughs> wow. Oh. Okay. We'll see the condition of his pets tomorrow. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> He's, uh, no, that was, and that's, this is the thing to try. You're up Absolutely. to nothing. You know, you're having fun. It's senior night. Yep. Um, his last kind of regular season home game. You know, go for that, go for that big, big serve. Yeah, and that is something that the coach, I know she encourages them to do, to try those things, to play, she likes them to play smart, not safe, is what she said, which I think makes sense. Another rally Good going rally, here yeah. to Belmore. Oh, wow. nice. And that's a hard hit. He is swinging the ball. He, he is. He is. So well. He's swinging at the ball so well, I should say. 7-3. Be nice to uh, take this in straight. Go home and have some supper. Yeah. Matt's going to help me with some menu planning, right? Well, I was going to say, what do you what do you got waiting for you? I don't know. We don't have anything yet. We uh, The day kind of got away from us. We didn't make plans. So if you have any menu suggestions, or leftover lobster from your birthday party. Well, no, that was, <laughs> just, that was just Kevin. That was just the, the birthday. That was just the birthday. Another nice swing. It was. 
So there was not any left over. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that. That's probably the way lobster should be, though. Right, right. So I think four of the five or three, at least, of the five stark points have come on Goffstown serving errors. Yeah, at least three, yep. Oh, we're doing a lineup check. Is he checking for who's actually out there or where they're actually positioned at this very moment? Yes and, and yes. Okay. So now if they determine that somebody served out of rotation, they will go back. That down ref will go back into the scorebook and go back to a point where that out of rotation happened or that out of serve happened and will adjust scores. Really? Yeah. Even if it was several points ago? It, it could be, yeah. You could be up in the teens and something happened back at the single digits. And really? Yeah, it, could, it can go back. It takes a little bit to, you know, figure it out. Right. But we're sitting at 8-5, and they're just going to check the book. And I, so, so really, too, I thought there might have been a scoring error where I had three earlier. Right. And, and then they went to three, and then I looked again, and the scoreboard was back to two. So they'll, they'll figure it out. Does each team have people keeping score? <sighs> That I don't know. I think it there's just like one book that's being, the one official book. Right, but, um, but each there could team be. should. I mean, it seems like they would, I don't know. Yeah. So now, of course, the up ref has really no idea what happened. Yeah. And the down ref just singles, okay, go ahead. Yep. We're all set. There's and no, nobody no adjustment knows. happening on the scoreboard, it looks like. And, and nobody knows what happened. Okay. Except for the down ref. One of those mysteries. We'll interview him after the game. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out what happened and see if he has any dinner suggestions for me. <laughs> if you have them, tweet them to us at what's for dinner. At hashtag, Marty's dinner. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag Marty's, Marty's dinner. dinner. <laughs> Smiley face. Smi <laughs> Thumbs up. Yeah. Emoji. <laughs> There nice we go. Nice kill for Manny. Nice. Kill. Yep. Good swing. Good swing. Oh, typical outside hitter. Send me the ball a little bit closer to the pin. Wants it a little bit more perfect. No, I'm, I'm kidding. That was a nice set and a nice swing for Manny. It Manian. was. It was. Now we have uh, Nicholas Martin coming in for Isaac Borges. And I mean, just what a what a you know how many times we said you know Borges has had kills, Manny's had kills, yep. Palomar's had kills. Then you got BD and. Belmore swinging really well. Yep. I mean, there's there's five attacking players. That's that's phenomenal position to be in. Noah's got so many targets out there in, in almost any rotation. Because they can hit from the back row as well. They're just going to call that a double. Or I didn't. I, I don't. I don't know what that call was. I don't know what it is either. It's spun a lot, so I yeah. don't. I don't know what. I don't know what that call is. Wow. Let's call it a spinner. Let's spinner, make that up. A spinner. It's a spinner. And obviously they're. Yeah. Well, I mean that's the thing. The ball did have a lot of spin on it. It looked like it, it came looked out like it at rolled a weird off his wrist, possibly, okay. or something. Uh, no. So the ref can count to four. He can. So, yep. And they, <laughs> they did keep trying though, just in case. <laughs> Seems like something they test Oh, that was for. a nice oh. serve. Got another rally going here. Oh, oh there's that. Excellent there, kill. Yep, that overpass. Overpass and a kill. 11-8, Goffstown. Nice serve from Mannion. Nope. Yep. It's kind of a, it was a hit attack, but just straight through the defense.
to the middle. <laughs> uh, right just, in the middle of Yep, him. just that hole in the defense. Yeah. And, and he's been swinging. And I and think so they were preparing for that. They're, they're out on the perimeter. Right. Instead of, you know, that rotational defense to come up just because he has been hitting the ball so hard. And, and that's, that's awesome. That's a perfect spot to do that tip right into that big hole in the defense. Exactly. Now he's serving. So he tries that big jump serve. Super duper. Nope. Nope, regular. That's still, <laughs> man, that's a hard serve to return. It is. Belmore down the line. Excellent. Down the line from an outside hitter is a thing of beauty. <laughs> Pass out. Goes. Smart choice. Goss down. Let it go. 14 9. Timeout time start. Out. And, and you really, so the, you know, the setter, you got to have a strong setter. And, and Noah's been doing it, it, pushing that ball out to the pin. Right. And, that, and the, the, the transitions that the outsides are doing, they're all getting out there really, really well. Now they've got time to see that set coming. And they can look at the defense. Is it. Can I, should I go cross? Can I go line? Is the ball out far enough where I can turn and get it? But, man, that, that outside hitting down the line is – because the other thing, too, with the outside hitting down the line like that, that's typically where the setter will be on defense. So if you can even make that setter take the first ball, now you're out of system. Right. And it's, it, it just messes up the, other, the opposition's um, offense. Because you see, in, you know, when, when Rapazzo gets all of his digs, he's over on that side where the outside hitter would be hitting down that line. Okay. Trying for that jump serve again. I don't know. I'd almost rather see him hit the back wall than the... <laughs> <laughs> I still like your idea for some post-production sound effects. So if anybody wants to do a, a remix of our broadcast here. Oh, Rapazzo Beautiful. got up there for Rapata. that block. Rapazzo, yep. The overpass at <laughs> the setter. <laughs> is Martin out there the shortest kid on the floor? He is Just not blocked. Right yeah. Probably the tallest kid on the floor. <laughs> it happens. 15-10. Collimore serving. Off the ceiling, ball's alive. Opportunity here for Goffstown. And see there's BD can put up and uh, put up a hittable ball. You think I, I would assume that has to stem from him being a setter for oh, so yeah, long. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh beautiful. Back kill row from attack. 16 10. So I'm curious right now. You get one of the John Clark players kneeling down. And I see that occasionally. Is that just a, a choice for the moment? Yeah, I, I, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't understand that either because if I saw that as a, as a server and I could, you know, place a serve in a spot, let me serve at the guy kneeling down. Right, yeah, I, I, and I, you see it right here. We got Raposo kneeling down. And I just well, I think he might be just resting because he's going to move as soon as, as, soon as okay. that serve happens. Serve is short. Yeah, the, the service errors are really chalking up points. For All right, so I've added scores here, and I, I think it's 17-11, okay. but the scoreboard's saying 17-10. So I'm going to update that back to 17-10. Oh, we had Mac Porter come into the game. And Pat, for Pat Mannion. So 18-10. Wow. Sir, from <laughs> so if you're Belmont. watching this on YouTube, go ahead <laughs> and just back up about 10 or 15 seconds and watch that serve again. That was a... And look, here's Gorgeous a timeout, serve. so you can go back again yeah. and watch that serve. That was probably the nicest serve I've seen all season. 19-10 with a timeout from Stark. 
Mellis. And there's there's another thing of of you know, don't don't play it safe. You've got an eight point lead. Right. You know, yes, you can just float the serve over, just get it over the net. He attacked that he, serve. Yes. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go on YouTube and rewatch that <laughs> serve tomorrow. We'll How look. We'll is look there for a them. clock on this? We're we're about 15 minutes, 14:50 into the third game. <laughs> All right. Let's see if he can pull off another one. He's gonna go for it. That and a little, a little long. long. Yep. A little long. That's all right. So he's got short serve. Twenty. Right, we got players rotating. So we've got Porter and BD in the front row with Rapazzo. Good serve from Nick Martin. Oh, uh, excellent. Yeah, he reached way back and got that one. 21-11. We may be wrapping it up here soon. I still don't know what I'm having for dinner, Matt. Oh, hit long. 22-11. Well, it looks like Goffstown's going to wrap this one up. I, I, weird things are going to have to happen, but. <laughs> oh, that is yep, out. Serve out. That could be the beginning of those weird things. That's well, one exactly, of those weird exactly. Things that could I mean, it's, but it's. It, Goffstown's <laughs> going to probably move to a, a 10 and 5 record, and that'll put them in a tie for fourth with either HB or BG or Hollis Brookline or Bishop Girton. They're playing each other tonight. One of them is going to lose. However, we will stay in fifth place because we've lost to both those teams head to head. So okay. even if, if HB wins and, and goes to 11 and four, BG loses, goes to 10 and five. We win, go to 10 and five. We're gonna be tied with either one of those teams and they beat us head to head. Which is okay. And then, um, you know, each team will have one more game in the season. But e to get to 10 wins, I mean, that's, that's a huge, huge milestone in a season. We got a rally going here outside to Porter. Oh! Timing a little off there. There's a small hole in his hand, possibly. 22-15. Four-point rally for Stark. Good swing and from BD off excellent. the block and down. 23. Players will rotate. Nolan Diddy serving. Yep, so now Porter, Collimore, and BD in the front. And uh, Nolan came in for for uh, Noah to get a couple of a little bit of court time here for setting. Yep, Porter needs to drop back there for serve receive. Good pass, good set. So now, yep, we'll switch sides. Nice back set to Collimore. Oh, nice yep, try. Didn't quite yep, clear the net. Timing was a little bit off. 23-17. I mean, this was 22-11. It was, yeah. We had some substitutions that came in. Yep. But they, they have to stay focused at the at the end of the game. Right. Oh, and and there's a. Oh, oh, oh. That ball's oh. alive. Oh, they put that. Oh, oh wow. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> wow. I mean, that was just like. The I serve, did not think they were going to recover that one. 
Uh, the serve receive error, the the lucky get to it in time, and then Belmore kind of punched it over underhanded and it yeah. just fell. We got match that point a, a served long. long. So 24-18, this is match point for Goffstown. It'd be nice to win on a on a kill instead of a an error. Nope, kind of you do. Pulled up short there yep. a little bit. So another match point. Yep, that was a serve receiver. It's a 24-20, and it was 24-20 in the last game. It was, and 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 we came back and got it 26-28-26. Right. Good back row swing from Porter. There's a double. So we've had a whole bunch of errors here. Yeah. And I think that's, you know, that part of that's, you know, human nature. It's hot. You were winning 20, 22 to 11. There's a good pass. And Belmore puts it down. Not a kill, but it, Goffstown wins. We're good. Oh, we've got a replay. Do again. We do not have a Goffstown win. The ref blew the whistle early. We're going to go back 24 21 with a replay. And the ref is going to explain to the floor captains what happened. I think the inadvert inadvertent whistle. Yep. But we'll redo match point. Give it back to him. Hmm. All right, 24-22. This has been an amazing recovery from Stark. Yep, get that ball over. Wow, 24-23. This was 22-11. And there's there the kill. We there, we ended on a kill. We did just what you wanted. You got your wish, Matt. And 20, but I, I, I wanted it to happen about 12 <laughs> points sooner. But 25-23. Right. So this is uh, Goffstown takes it in straight sets and in, improves to 10-5 and five on the season. Ten wins is a huge accomplishment. That, uh, this has been Matt Kennerson with Marty Kelly. Happy and, to be uh, here as always, Matt. Thank you very much, Marty. And we will see you for the home playoff game. I am looking forward to it. All right, this is Matthew Kennerson, and joining me is Coach Mel Margenson, boys' varsity volleyball coach. Yes. Congratulations on your 10th win of the season. Thank you. Straight sets. That's a yeah. seven-game winning streak. Oh, yeah. So it now you're, you're poised to go into the playoffs here for the, for mm -hmm. the end of the season. Yes. So the, um, the implications are Hollis Brookline and BG are playing each other tonight. Mm -hmm. One of them is going to lose, yes. and one of them is going to win, so you'll be yes. tied with them. Mm -hmm. If you can get a little help from Salem, Maybe if, if HB can win and, and uh, BG loses and then Salem beats BG, you guys will be in the fourth seed overall. Yeah, that's what we're, that's what we're hoping for. We want to get that by that first week for sure. Right, so. right. So regardless, though, even if you do wind up the fifth seed mm -hmm. um, and, and a, a lot of weird things could happen the other yep. way, you wind up the sixth seed. Um, it's still an improvement over last year's seven seed. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's awesome because I think every year, I mean, I have a lot of returners this year. We just kind of keep getting better and better. And it's, 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 I'm very happy with how our season's been going so far. Absolutely. And it, even with your returners, you've had a lot of transitions with oh, players. Yeah. Yeah. So Alex Kelly transitioned from the right side last year to an outside, a six yep. rotation outside yep. this year. 
You have a new setter. BD went to a six rotation middle. Yep. So it's been a lot of changes in that. You've had players step up into defensive specialist roles. Mm -hmm. um, it's been very, very good to see. Yeah, it's. I think I'm so proud as, as a coach of my players, for especially someone like uh, BD, who was supposed to, supposed to be our four-year varsity setter, and right. I've now moved him into an offensive position. Um, then we have Noah. He was. We we're looking at him to be our libero this year, and you know, it, it, it is what it is. And we end up putting him as a setter, and it's awesome to see my my team just be able to kind of transform and just you know do their job out on the court and it's right. awesome to see um, Jake's hitting finally which is great because oh, yeah. as a setter he's never he's never served receive he's never been that offensive player so yep. I think he's having a lot of fun yeah. um, being and that offensive player this they, year and right and all you've got really and Noah as a setter he's got six targets out there yeah. and he's got targets in the back row yeah. they're running crosses they're mm -hmm. running that X and, and the slides are working it, it's really been exciting to watch yeah. and, and very good to see and then even with the injuries that you've had <laughs> over the past couple of games, um, you've had other players step up into yes. different roles yeah, as well. Yeah, I've had my freshman, um, Nick Martin, come in, um, completely step up. You know, he during that second set we had, he completely took over and just, <laughs> <laughs> he just was serving over and in. And that's a lot of pressure, especially as a freshman. He's right. never played volleyball before. Um, when you go into that uh, like that pressure situation, for him just to completely just dominate it, that was awesome to see. Right, so right. it's really cool. And it's, it's really funny to see. And you've got another freshman playing in the front row as well, yes. with Isaac Borges. Yep. And then... In in, in that rotation where where the Rapazzo's in the front row, mm -hmm. they've got to get together and block yeah. their opponents outside, and they're doing it. Mm -hmm. They're getting touches on that ball. It's yeah, really, really good Yeah, it's awesome. See. You look at Noah, and you wouldn't think that he would be, like, a big defensive blocker up in the front row. And he has he has a lot of stats right now for blocking. It's, right, it's awesome right. to see. And Isaac kind of does know to kind of cover him a little bit more on that so you yep. have him pushed outside. But Noah's got some – Noah's got quite a few touches. It's absolutely, awesome. absolutely. And, and then even in the last game, you've got – so you've got Calamoran's the opposite. He's been taking a, a few of those out-of-system balls. <laughs> and then you've got that other setter on the floor that can yeah. take that, that second ball. So yep. I know you guys are definitely agreeing with me on this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, thank you very much, Coach. And um, we'll look forward to covering the first playoff game, uh, the yes. home game for the season. Yeah. And uh, it's been a fantastic season. Win it out and go with 11 wins uh, with an eight-game winning streak. So. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs>